Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin and before we start with this great uh, popular key for slow blues A minor, let me uh, tease you to become a patron for my side on my Patreon side. Not only will you be supporting my channel, but also and far more important for you, you get extra content. These are my two latest examples I just published for you. Oh. You find the Patreon link in the uh, text box. Have a look. And uh, I say thank you up front and let's go. Enjoy. Wake three of A minor blues. Well, it's not a country piano tutorial, but why is it a wonderful country? Because it's easy. But you, you know, the students tend to shout now, no, C is easy, C is easy. Ah, wrong, that's so wrong. This myth comes from classical piano where the C major scale has no black keys, but if you have a look at the minor blues scale of C, which we use a lot in C, it has three black keys. So it's in fact one of the hardest uh, keys for, for, for blues. Yet, okay, you're more familiar with C uh, because you play it all the time unfortunately. Um, so that makes it more intuitive and it's in your fingers. But from a technical um, point of view, it's a harder key and A has only one black key. If you don't have a black and white um, weakness, <laughs> does that even exist? We have this uh, red green weakness. Maybe there's a black and white key weakness. Anyway, I help you with it. It's here. It's the flat five and uh, it comes, it sticks its neck, it sticks its neck out just at the right at the right moment because our weak fingers are here the fourth and the fifth I have two long fingernails for a piano player but I'm blues piano player so that's just fine um, the uh, the oh, what do we do with weak family members well my brother my older brother would say um, we lock them in and hold their school books underwater but now we support them and if uh, the flat five is sticking out its neck just when our weak fourth finger is coming on here so that's that's really nice for the anatomy of the hand it's just like lotion for the hand the a, the a minor blue scale is just beautiful and uh, you know smooth as a hand lotion and uh, so that's great and we make use of that so we have the a minor um, uh, chord here if I play it down here uh, it starts to sound a little bit it would be okay but I start here and uh, what do we, ah, first of all, uh, how can you embarrass yourself? You tell a joke that everybody knows already and I love to embarrass myself. Uh, a, C and E come to a bar and they get kicked out immediately and the door bounds are shouted. No, mi no minors allowed here. Okay, so what form do we take? Um, we take a short form. Uh, I'll play it briefly for you. See, it's just one and two and three and four, second bar A and half a bar F, half a bar E7. This way I, I can show the examples much easier. Um, and uh, of course you can play all this stuff also on all other minor blues forms like, let's say, we play See, anything will, will be fine. Um, and uh, what do we start with? Now, um, we start with, yeah, the blue scale you know already, it's here. And we build up from uh, one central element which we can use a lot. One, one um, let's say, addition to what I said about blues and A, and what, if it's easy, yes. In, in blues songs where the, um, where the scale is the dominant sound, the, blues, the minor blues scale is the dominant sound, uh, that's true. Uh, the only thing is if you want to play a major blues, 
and play stuff like uh, here. Then we have the problem, and that's the only problem in A, we have the, if you want to slide the minor to the major third uh, in C, that's again, that's easy. Here. Here uh, we need two fingers to slide up the hill here. But even in major blues, uh, you can use the, you can uh, like, you know, survive with just the blues scale. We just play a, a major blues. You see, this is just the minor blues scale which we use today. And uh, just in, uh, let's say, New Orleans and Boogie Boogie, the more where the uh, major blues scale sound is dominating, and we want the major third appears a slightly happier sound uh, than uh, you see, than we then the uh, major uh, third is a problem. Okay, let's go. We start with uh, uh, a central element which around which we built, and uh, this is here. It's the drone lick. Yes, we start with the drone lick, and you will see in a little bit why that is. I don't. Know, we we are in minor now, so I played here. Okay. So what I want you to do is, uh, for, for a couple of minutes, just get this, this thing in your hands. It's again a slide we need two fingers for. So you must get in this in your hand that you can play it blindly inside out, even if you're on the space station and there's no piano. And maybe grab this one or... With this one, just a drone lick with the um, uh, notes of the minor blues scale in A, with the drone of the uh, of the eighth on top of the octave. Okay. So, and you will see uh, uh, why this is great. Um, you will also let's just at the at the same time um, make you aware that you can either play the drone here. A lot of similarities between uh, this and other keys, of course, um, with this seven, like yeah, now I use the drone with the seven on top, with the eight, now with the seven. Both sounds are great, and you can combine them. Wonderful. And now with a seven. Okay. And you he he already you see another element that we can make use of in A, but not in C. That's much harder in C. Let's see if you can spot this. So you got it? First the, the, the drone lick here. Uh, with the seven and the eight. Now, what you saw me do is the following. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you figure out what I mean? Are you with me? Yes. It's the, uh, we slide the A and we can do this here. Yes, we slide the root. And that's something we can take advantage of in A, which we can, which is harder in C. In C, we need, if we want to slide the root here, that we need two fingers. And it's much more awkward here, especially if you want to play with the with the minor third, like Ray Charles is very often doing it. Like that's harder in C. Here, here we have the. Uh, we just need one finger to slide the A. Okay. And now you see already the next step. We had we have the central element of the um, of the drone lick and we can build on top of it and this way we can do stuff like okay 
Okay, now the left hand is in the way a little bit. Later on, uh, you can play it like with other voicings. I just use this voicing because here, this would be too muddy and this would not have the minor third for the minor sound. That's why I'm doing this. And later on, you can then do, if you play this here, if your ear is now accustomed to the minor sound here, um, then, then of course you can play longer chains. We start, uh, we have, let's say, just take a, let's start from the C, okay? And here we go. Let's just do this, just to get a taste. Okay, so that's the start now. What do we do here? Yeah. Brilliant. Already with this, you know, you can do your solo. Uh, if it's not too long, the solo. Uh, let me just have some tea. Mm. Oiling the machinery. Okay. Already we are in the good stuff tutorial. Uh, now it's really just you playing it with emotion. With emotion, not like, uh, you know, tired. And this is. How do you get the, uh, the drone lick to sound good? And that's why I sound probably better than you, hopefully, or <laughs> maybe most of you, uh, because I, ha I have it in my fingers, I have no stress when I play it. Um, that means my system is more relaxed, I can control it better. And here comes the trick. If you play the drone link, you have to have a little bit of tension in this part of, uh, of your uh, robot arm here. In the, at the moment you strike it, it's getting a little bit stiff here and in the fingers, but not in the shoulder and the rest of the body. So you, you come, you let it drop, and at the moment, and I sometimes do that with my students, just to get that the right sound, that it's not like a, um, you know, a Tesla robot, robo arm, like, but that you can play the following notes. It's a mix of a, a, a that you uh, drop the weight of your arm, um, you know, with no tension, and then make it a little bit stiff here, just like if, when you would scratch your bum. Oh, Christian, come on! This, this, ah, I'm a little bit vulgar, you know that, and maybe some of you even like that. Okay, so and then you can uh, you you uh, give it a little bit of shape. Also do it uh, a little bit more um, uh, more rhythmic, uh, very interesting fashion like. But you see, we always land on this one, and it's great. And it's great if you listen to slow blues piano solos, you hear it all the time. Just listen carefully. Ooh. So, yeah, there was something uh, that was a bit cheeky to smuggle that in here. Uh, if you can play this, and in slow blues, that's not too bad. One and two, one, two, and. Should we practice that a little bit? Because it's a great sound. One and two, and one and two. One and two. It's, it's actually four, four is like 32, 30, uh, 30 second notes. One, two, and one. And two. Here's a German goat again. One and two and one. Yeah. 
It's a great sound. And here we come to, a, uh, if we want to extend now our little uh, line, uh, you got to know the, uh, another central thing. It's beautifully uh, playable in A minor. And it's one of the favorite licks of all blues musicians. You just never knew. And yeah, it's the, the thing. We slide the fifth, go to the seven. Here. In this case, we only have three. 16th note on the end, a th 16th triplet. But in some cases you find also like... No, you have them as fourth. Three, du, 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 du. Four, four, okay? And sometimes we don't count at all uh, this this thing here, okay? Uh, let's give, give you an example. We don't count it. Um, in the end, at the end of a phrase, for example, Here. Yeah, I played a variation of that here. And there it's just played as a swoop, as a swoosh, as a hoosh, as a koosh. Uh, whatever you prefer. So just, you know, and you know from other tutorials, just stay close with the fingertips to the, uh, to the trigger or where the sound actually is, you know, get the sensitivity, watch my other tutorials, subscribe, you will have a happier life, a longer life, have more friends, have more, have be more beautiful friends also, and in general you will just be, you know, maybe gain a, have, get a second life. Uh, yeah, that's too much to promise. Okay, so because uh, in my tutorials I explain you all this stuff where you play the all the dirty tricks of the blues trade. Okay, now we have already something great. Listen to this. just chaining these to each other. Okay, that was another example. It was a diff different one. Sorry about that. And you saw something. I smuggled in again something. I'm a German smuggler. You saw... And again, like with a drone lick, we can uh, play this lick uh, with the seven and the eight again. Different sound, variability, great. Here, now the seven. the uh, road, the slid, root. Okay, all three elements were now in here. We have the root, the roll uh, of, on the root, and the, our favorite lick. We just call it in short FL, fav lick. And just jump in here. Now here is just a drone lick down and I played this. If you're good enough, you play a lot of this stuff um, also uh, uncounted. Like if you can keep the beat here and, uh, and you can tremolo, that's the first step, that you can keep the beat here. And the next step would be play something more uh, elaborate than the just the octave trill. Um, for example, Free, freely against that one. Yeah, needs 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 patience and needs work. But hey, I work hard for you. You can work a little bit, and you work for yourself. I work for you. Okay, T. Huh? Where were we? Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, of course. That's um, uh, that's hard to teach. Yeah, we, I have a different lesson for um, how to trill. Uh, yeah, it's called how to trill, but I actually meant on the in the video how to tremolo. I just didn't know the right word at that time in English, and or I was just a little bit ignorant. 
where I teach you to keep the speed, bam, 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 and then, and then play freely, and keep the beat here, yeah? And you keep the beat here, and you keep the beat here. The trick is to play this note at the beginning very loud and this here very low and it's a it's a mind thing. 80% um, of piano playing is a mind thing, it's a focus thing and 20% uh, is having the right um, digital piano. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, so it's just a focus thing and you start slowly uh, playing something like a like just an ant crawling over the keyboard and you but you do um, that's arbitrary you start arbitrarily here just don't you don't play piano here you just do this uh, and you keep the you keep the beat here I or my in, uh, intermediate uh, exercise would be you wave to your grandmother it's true I, I do that uh, like you pretend you wave to your grandmother uh, uh, looking at you She's probably not smiling because you're playing piano, but she's looking at you, you're, you're waving at her. And then you play fourth beats. That's the first step. It's doing something that is not piano related in the right hand. And then um, you do this, you do the waving on the piano, really arbitrary, and you keep the fourth beat. You wave faster, you're just waving at grandmother. You're not playing piano. You do this and you go down on the piano, but you keep the beat here. These are the steps, and then you do the arbitrary stuff, the random stuff. You become less and less random. You you wave, but suddenly you only you wave an octave. Yeah, you keep the beat. Yeah, or you wave um, with two fingers. You just wave this. You don't play piano yet, and then you wave and you or you tickle somebody. Not piano related in mind. You, you tickle somebody. You do it on the wood, and then you go on the piano by chance. Uh, so that's how you approach this, and it's important in uh, in slow blues because we uh, it's slow. A slow blues means extending the notes is a great thing uh, because if the piano is a, uh, in many respects it's the king of pianos, but in some respects it's handicapped. We cannot hold a note like a trumpet player, harp player, or a singer, where a singer can only uh, you know what his breath is giving him. But here we it's just gone in a second, so we simulate. The holding of the voice by tremoloing. This way we can keep a note. And in slow, that's even more important. Yeah? So it's or yeah, it's a different thing, but you know, independence. Can we have a look at that briefly? If you're on F7, uh, you of course play our well-known 379 voicing here. Fantastic sound. So that's not, uh, that's, yeah, it's still part of the A minor blues scale, you know, but in, in this sense we would call it the 379 voicing. And this is a great sound to achieve a little bit of energy and harshness. Uh, and again, you see, what do you see? You see right if you're looking at all are you watching Netflix here we can again play this uh, between the uh, minor third and the uh, fourth and the perfect fourth here um, so f so few things in the world are perfect huh? um, it's just you know the fourth is perfect the fifth is perfect and your teacher uh, three things and maybe God that was blasphemy I take that back mm. So, um, so, and this is great to achieve like energy. Again, all the elements we just we, you learned already, you know. This one at the end, no counting. I go from the seven. To the harsh fifth sounds great. And 
Here, our friend. The slit A. Is that the, is that the right past tense? Slit, 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 I learned in school. Slit, slit, slit is the other three tenses of to slide. No, slide, slit, slit, that's right. Swipe. It's swiped. Okay, let me go on a break to see if I missed something. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm a little bit, you know, by nature, a confused person. If we have, if we did the the uh, the. Uh, hello, Christian Reiki, um The drone lick upwards, you know, um, because this is a great upbeat and it's done so many times. Uh, like you, you start a phrase. And then you go on or or this sounds very familiar to you huh why does it sound familiar because you heard it so often on recordings okay let's start with the octave yeah that that's alone is uh, you know so what did i do here of course this is now the you know this already is the tonic upwards great for upbeats for a phrase Ah, yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Yeah, if we want to slide, we have two um, uh, tremolo. We have uh, three main tremolo uh, points: octave. Yeah, then we have uh, between and uh, any set two, uh, and we have between the five and the seven. And what do I do to make it a little bit more dirty? Uh, I use the uh, index finger to slide into the tremolo. Great trick. Some even do it if you're more advanced. Like Dr. John is probably taking four notes. Yeah. But here we are, the lesser gods play this one. And the only the half gods play. And you can be half god from today. Here. The um, just. And if you want to approach a little bit, you know, this is totally fine. But this is also often played, you know, even dirtier. And you like dirty, don't you? <laughs> don't be all. So, okay. Then, of course, uh, so we have, this already is, is, is everything you need, basically. The thing is then to build uh, uh, chains, uh, phrases that do not always sound the same. I'll give you a couple of examples after my tea break. So, um, example. You know that giving energy with the, uh, we are here on the minor third and have, this, have a counter note, very good in slow blues and in uh, up-tempo blues. Yeah, that was something different, wasn't it? I was interrupting the the power chain to stop to the you know to the uh, yeah you you can call it primitive, but it's uh, blues is also quite primitive music in a way. It's, it's simple music, primitive in in an intellectual sense sometimes, but strong in emotion. Um, so you gotta hit this sometimes, which is not like, like limited to. Uh, just to slow blues, uh, but you know, uh, you know. So you come on. Ooh. Yeah. And I just figured out something. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we. Um, um, so there were. That's one example. You could also like. Um, Here we go. I play favorite lick, swoop, scale, and go into the, you see, the density changes. Single note, and then we have octaves. Give it a different structure and play with it very slowly. Take a cup of Earl Grey, and then you just play with it. You just play like, 
What could I do now? Yes. What could I do now? Are your drone leg up? Maybe down? You can do nothing wrong here. But I wanted to show you the um, so-called uh, two five business. Uh, I call it two five business. I've a business. I give licks names because it's easier to communicate for teaching. And I, so at one point, I just say two five business, and I, you know what I mean, uh, without me having to show it over and over again. And this one. Yeah, I know. Oh, you always want to know this one, and you know it probably from other keys. Here we go in A minor. Here we start here, and you can already tell why it's the two five uh, business because. These are the two main fingers. We use this and the thumb. And maybe another thing. Hold on. <laughs> okay. We start here with the seven and the minor third here. I mean, oh, it's morning and the voice. My voice is really sexy in the morning. Morning. Okay. Oh, I'm so in love with myself. So here we have the two five and the thumb. And two five going on the um, flat five and the eight, righty? And uh, yeah, it's just two five and thumb. And then here we go to the D, two five on minor third and seven. And then it starts all again, again, then it repeats. You don't even need these fingers, you can like, Take a knife, pat them off if you like, or tie them back. They're just in the way. Here. Da, da. That's all you need to know. Bop. Then flat five and uh, A. Thumb me. So we need that. Thumb me. Two five. 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 Thumb me. And that's also great for. Um, and they all played. They all played. There are a few elements. Really, it's just your musicality that decides if you played in a musical fashion or like. Or. Okay, that's the only thing. And since it's so easy to play because it's uh, it's just uh, one grip, and it's repeating, but it sounds impressive. So very little input, great output, and you are loved by people for it. And that's what life is about. Very little input, just if you're younger there and you want life advice, he's Christian talking. Um, uh, life is about very little, as, as little input as possible. And with that, making people love you. That's, that's what life is about. And this is the perfect thing for that. Of course, there were triplets. Give it a nice ending. Always a good recipe. Oh yeah, no, don't give me love. Yeah, primitivity. Here, two five. Primitivity and tail. Ah, you want to know that? Okay, come on. Uh, that's also, you know, in, 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 uh, uh, in, uh, Boogie and C, we have the, the one, th the, it's a two, f that's a two finger business. We, are, we have the two five business and we have, we have the two finger business and that sounds great. And we can do the same in A minor and that's also great here. Slide the A. Slide the A with the second finger. We just need two fingers. Here we play, um, here we need the tooth and the fourth finger. The tooth. Yeah, yeah. That's what school is about. Teaching you the right English. I had 10 years in, at school. English. I had 10 years at school. I had 10 years of English. And I say, instead of second, I say the tooth. Dang, dang, dang. Okay. Second finger. Now fourth finger on the, we just go up the, basically the major triad, you know. Here. 
okay? Yeah, that's nice counting, eh? Yeah, do that with me. You want to know what that is, okay? Okay, last bit. And then you're stuffed, I believe. Um, the butterfly. Always good, but then you want to know it in A minor also, that's why I'm here. Uh, here. The butterfly is again one of my names. I use. Oh, I think they're trademarked by uh, brand names. I did them. I never saw anybody use the term butterfly, so uh, you get all the right um, tags here. And what we do is here. And since it's slow, in slow blues, they're playable for you. They're playable. And what we do is, it's only, that's the motion here. That's the sequence. That's all. And it stays the same. One up, one down, one down. Up and two down. Up, up, two down. Next note in the blue scale. We start here. One up, one. Uh, uh. Hold on, Christian, come on. Yeah. Okay. The blue scale, just along the blue scale. Or in counting. So the butterfly is this why I do call it butterfly because you have to dance like a butterfly and sting like a bee, as Muhammad Ali would say. But we don't sting, we sting here, but here we just dance like a butterfly. And uh, you can play this, uh, i give you a couple, a couple of examples. Either you play it as an uh, embellishment. You don't count at all, like, it's just as one note. Two, three, four, one, two, don't count. You get crazy. And then you can play it freely. And now this is, this is just on the eighth notes. Also no counting. Like da 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 Yeah, if I say da 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 you don't hear the sound, right? Da 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 Can you hear it? Da da da. Okay. This is me. There was plenty, yeah? I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. I love playing blues in A minor. If somebody says, hey, blues in A minor. Yeah, that's me. I can do that. They say like F sharp. I said, no, he can do that. And now, of course, take a minor finger, let's say the thumb, and squeeze it on the like button. That would help my channel greatly. I say thanks for learning with me. Uh, hopefully, see you in my next lesson. Bye from Berlin. Take care. Be good, boys and girls. Tschüss.